Man, that was that. Mm. That would do the job right there. Look at that. I guess we could see where mine's at because somebody probably wants to know. Throw some uh, 9.9 .9 gram hybrid Canada rat balls in this puppy. I am sporting a TCR barrel. If you don't know why, well, you're just not as cool as some people. <laughs> All right, 9.9 .9 gram hybrid Canada rat balls. <laughs> After I made fun of Charles. <laughs> Two fifty nine. What is that? That's dead on, that's dead on 30. 30 joules. Huh. That's a little better. That brings it to a whopping 33. So I'm going to assume it's somewhere between 30 and 33. <laughs> so, all right, so here, for the, for the money, but... So, so 30, 30 is a good wallop. And that ain't, it's probably not even hitting, you know, like, I doubt that one was even 30. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the chrono and the red dot at the same freaking time. Hold on. Two thirty four, so that's what twenty thirty-four. It lobs them in like a softball, but look at that. That's a, that's just a twenty-five joule hit with the nine point nine gram hybrid Canada right ball. This is a one painter, but still. Alright, alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the same ammo in it. Since it's different power, that way we're actually testing something. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Nine point nine gram hybrid Canada right balls. This is my Berna SD. My SD does not have the merciless lethal adapter. Bye. My old trusty does. All right. <laughs> Let's get fancy. <laughs> All right. You got you got to hit the thing first. One forty-eight. All right. So one forty-eight. I'll tell you what, well, here, 
Watch your, watch your look. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it put for the second shot where the first shot was on the other one. All right, so there you go. All right, so so this is basically that that's you're basically looking at the difference between a 10 joule, two shots of 10 joules with a 9.9 .9 gram, or two shots with 25 joules, roughly. The first shot of this one was under 10. So there you go. There's a little comparison for you. Now, people that want to see the uh the exact same power levels with different uh different types of ammo uh and stuff like that we can do that but as far as like comparing the uh like the compact to some of the other stuff unfortunately <laughs> the compact uh, as it is right now has not got quite to the to the level to be able to compare it to any of the any of the other stuff adequately yet so really the only thing it uh i mean it, it, it's a little bit stronger than the burna so you know there you see what the see what the burna does to a pan well you know why not let's see All right, so what I'm gonna do, exact same. I'm not have CO2 in this freaking thing. Exact same scenario. All right. All right, so I have the three point, I have 3.5 gram uh, right ball. So I'm gonna do kind of the same thing I just did. And this is 13, 14 joules. Um, so that that actually that actually did pretty doggone decent. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and shoot the burn. I'm gonna shoot uh, some three three point seven closest I can get uh, gram balls with the burner. I do like the trigger on this thing. All right, so, but you, all right, hold on. We're gonna forget about the uh, the Tipex shots, but we're gonna look at the Burna. So the Burna has less power, but it's the 9.9 .9 gram balls. Now, however, I'm not saying this ain't good, because if you look, at the holes, <laughs> both of them penetrated. Didn't go through, but see the light coming through. <laughs> so, um, and it's a deeper, the holes themselves are deeper, right? This overall more whatever. All right, so now to make this fair, now what we gotta do is we gotta turn around and shoot the burner into one of them with the closest weight balls that we've got to those which would be the 3.7 gram well i'm not sure where that cut off or cut on so uh all right so this is 3.7 gram balls through a burner
So there's 3.7. Let's hit one more. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay. So there is two three point seven gram balls from a from a burner. Let's look at it like this. All right, three point seven. This is a, a burner, same distance, two shots, three point seven. A burner, same distance, two shots, nine point nine. Definitely, definitely harder impact there. <laughs> But if somebody wasn't wearing a whole lot of clothes and stuff, because a whole lot of clothes is going to stop, you know, stop something that's lighter a lot easier. But if somebody wasn't wearing and you hit them on skin with this as fast as it's moving, it'd sting like a bastard. But overall, talking to the hands, but overall, this is better, obviously. Now, this is your this is your mini so the mini the mini would put a hurt on somebody it's not see it's not got the knockdown see it's not got that knockdown power and that's a lot of what you want in less lethal but it, it would definitely put it basically it's like a, it's it's like the, the 50 cal the hdr except for the hdr you've got you know well, so far you got you know a lot more power and more you know more shots, but uh, two more shots and what I don't know six to six to sixteen joules more, but uh, but look at how like I mean they put a nice little they put a nice little divot in there. All right. You don't see the tip X again. And then there's the 25 joules. All right, let's recap. Because like, I mean, you can't, you can't do exact comparisons with a lot of this stuff because we don't have exact same, you know, power levels with some of it. And some of it's not adjustable. But so to recap, though, let's see here. We've got... 25 joule tip x with uh with uh 9.9 .9 grams and i really hope that it recorded the mini part but um so we've got the uh we got the mini is that the mini i don't even know <laughs> So, yeah, that's the mini. Mini, burner with seven, three point sevens. Where it's like, you can really see it with the, the shadows. You can really see, I mean, because the, these, is, the holes themselves are quite, uh, quite nice. Just didn't take a lot of pain with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big difference. And why would it hurt for a burner to have that much power? I mean, seriously, if a burner had just that, if a burner had twenty-five joules, I would be completely content with it. 
I would carry it. If a burner had 25 joules and I had my, my 10 round mag extension from Mercy Less Lethal, I would absolutely not feel at all worried using it kinetically. 25 joules would put a hurting on somebody. Don't get me wrong. I definitely want more than 25 joules. I'm just saying, let's compromise, Burner. Come on, give us 25, peeps. Come on.